Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool, at least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Party all night. Not Little Miss Wallflower. I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, right. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You should stick to taking photos. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I take photos. Of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. 
Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out to summer. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. 
I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Should I switch the song? Decisions, decisions. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? I wonder what's in those files up there. Shit! Butterfingers! Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. You have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. 
It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. I was freaking out. I could only hear Nathan ranting. So then you did hear us. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's crash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. Not even on! Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Chloe? I'm coming! What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing! Give me a minute! Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second! My bra is stuck. I'm not- Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. 
You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. <laughs>